everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. Not two, I've made a mistake in the last episode. Uh, so anyways, in the last episode we did a thing or something, I don't know. Let's get in this guy. Alright, Pintar. Pintar is a martial artist. That is all. Really? That's it? Uh, might as well uh, scan some of the fighters. Here we have uh, Sponovich. The, this martial artist fought against Hercule in the 24th World Tournament. There appears to be something strange about him. Huh. Alright. Yamu, there appears to be something strange about this martial artist. Yes, these people with M's on their foreheads. Look extremely veiny. But then again, in this, in this series, who doesn't? Okay. Scanned all of you. I have not scanned you, sir. Killa. Killa is a martial artist. Okay, um, scan the tournament guys. Uh, these guys, Mr. Purple and Mr. Red guy. Uh, Kibito. Kibito is a bodyguard of the Supreme Kai. Supreme Kai. Supreme Kai is the highest ranking guardian in the universe. Holy crap. These guys are the highest ranking guardian of the universe and his bodyguard in the World Martial Arts Tournament. That's... That's like seeing God at a Dunkin' Donuts just sitting over there dunking a donut in some coffee. It's... That, that's the only thing I can compare it to. Just like... Or like seeing... Seeing Krishna at a Walgreens just like looking through the greeting cards. Just Krishna looking through the greeting cards, the Mother's Day cards, even though I think he's father of the universe and therefore does not have a mother. Maybe he's looking at them ironically. Who knows? Gohan knows. He's looking it up right now in his encyclopedia. Okay, let's start doing things. <laughs> Enough of this ridiculousness. Oh, wait, no, I think we have to talk to uh, this guy. Is everyone ready for the tournament to begin? Yes, because I haven't spoken for everybody. Alright, so this Pintar guy is going to fight Krillin. Apparently, he's a total wuss because Krillin was able to defeat him in one hit. And so the tournament began. Things started out uh, une uneventful with Krillin easily defeating Pintar. Wow, I feel really bad for Pintar. He got beat by Krillin. That's just, that's just not a good place you want to be. When Piccolo stepped out into the ring with the mysterious Mr. Shin, things started to get interesting. Mr. Shin, that's the Supreme Kai. Probably should have scanned him afterwards. This is the first year Shin has participated in the tournament. He's a man of few words, so we know very little about him. And that could spell trouble for our other, other competitor, Ma Jr. Um, in the original tournament, Piccolo entered on the name Ma Jr. And he just entered in that name ever since. Although the announcer knew his, na his name was Piccolo earlier... I guess he's just addressing him what he entered himself as on the tournament sheet. Anyways, Ma Jr. Someone who, if I remember correctly, came close to turning the arena into rubble last time he was here. This time, try to leave the stadium intact, okay? How many times has the stadium been destroyed? I mean, seriously. Piccolo destroyed it, Tien's destroyed it with his, like, tri-beam thingy. Alright. This could be interesting, don't you think, Piccolo? How does he know my name? What is the strange energy I'm feeling? Alright, fighters, let the second match begin! Why can't I focus my power? Uh, guys, uh, the match has started. You can throw punches now. Why am I holding back like this? I've never even met him before today. And yet, there's something about him that reminds me. Well, martial arts fans, it looks like we have a good old-fashioned standoff. No, it couldn't be. You're not. Why would you be here? I promise you'll know soon. But for now, let's enjoy our little match. No, I'm sorry. I can't. What? Piccolo's just gonna give up? Does this mean you're forfeiting the match? Yes, it does. Okay, then. 
You heard it, folks. Ma Jr. has withdrawn from the match. This makes Shin the winner by default. Okay, then. W what's going on here? Oh, we all know he doesn't think high. What's wrong, Piccolo? Is he really that strong? Yes, stronger than you can imagine. Oh, great. And I'm going to have to fight this guy next. Well, this is interesting. Excuse me. What is it? Forgive me if I'm mistaken to ask you. Are you the Grand Kai? No, sorry. I am not. I tell you who he is. He is the Supreme Kai. Supreme Kai? I've always suspected that there was an even greater Kai above the Grand Kai. But until now, I've never known for sure. What are you doing on Earth? That will all become clear. For now, please keep this information to yourself. Alright, so now Videl has to fight this Sponovich guy. Alright, I'm sure most of you know this is the daughter of the champion Hercule. As for her rival today, Sponovich here is to redeem himself for a loss he suffered in the first round of the last tournament. Let the match begin. You are now playing as... What? I'm now playing as Videl? Okay, here's an interesting thing. Uh, when playing as Videl, her run sprite is nothing different than her walk sprite. Lazy. You have no energy blast. You can't pause the game except for this pause. And she's extremely weak, so this is a very difficult fight, which you cannot train for. But if you can, if you can cheese him well enough, you can win it easily. But if he starts cheesing you, then it is all over. I just got lucky there. Make sure you remember you can guard with the Arbun. What the? Videl has clearly beaten her opponent, but I'm afraid she's disqualified for using excessive force. Those are the rules. Yeah, if you kill your opponent, then you lose automatically. And the person who would fight you just gets a buy-in to the next round. I don't know how to explain it, but Sponovich somehow survived. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, and then he gets a cheap sh shot on you. And look how much damage that did. Yikes. If he starts cheesing you, then you are going down quickly. Uh, and this is a very difficult fight if, if you, like, don't do well. I don't understand. You were never this strong before. I'll never give up. And then he says something. I, I don't know. Alright, and then, yeah, that's pretty much what happens if if he catches you off guard. And Videl goes down. No, Videl, stay down. There's no way you can beat this guy. No, I have to keep fighting. Videl! She, she went down. Ugh, this is too much. I can't stand to watch. He just keeps cheesing her in the face. In the force! Bonovich, stop playing games. End this now. Oh, all right. And he just kicks her outside of the ring. I try to do a Russian accent. I don't know if I succeed. How could this happen, poor girl? Sugar beet. What did you, they do to you, Vidal? My little girl. This really is not working. But I'm rolling with it. She's okay, sir. But she's going to need some time to heal. Gohan, that guy, Sponovich, I want you to beat him for me. Sure thing, Fidel. Say, I have an idea. I'll be right back. W where are you going off to? What do you think talking about, Fidel? There's no way he can beat Sponovich. Don't worry, Daddy will take care of him for you. Wait a second, that kid isn't your boyfriend now, is he? I won't allow it, do you hear me? I do not approve of this. You know I've always said that you have to have a boyfriend that must be strong like me, not feeble like that to warp. How can he protect my little girl? Dad, he's a really nice guy. Grr, one thing I just don't understand is... <coughs> God damn it, kill voice. How could Sponovich have gotten that so strong? When I fought him last tournament, he was a cream puff. Yeah, when Hercule calls you a cream puff and means it, 
that is a worse insult than being beaten by Krillin. So, I think Sponovich just kind of died for being insulted so badly. Anyways. That'll be all explained later how he got all strong. Hey Gohan, where are you going? I was going to see Corrin and get a Sentu Bean for Videl. Why don't you stay here? I'll take care of it. Thanks, Dad. You're now playing as Goku. The journal entry, go to Corrin's lookout and get a Sentu Bean from Corrin. Alright. So, yeah, this is just showing us Corrin's lookout. Okay, we're playing as Goku again, which is neat. He still hasn't really gained any levels since before, but mm, you don't really expect him to. Alright. I think I need a Senzu Bean for my voice after t being so hard in it with uh, all that Piccolo, well, Piccolo voice, voice and all that difficult. It's, it's extremely easy to do. I can do this all day. But Hercules' voice is really hard on the throat. <laughs> oh, why did I do that? Anyways, I shall uh, go to Corrin's Tower and stuff. Yes, lots of stuff. I can also go for a sandwich. Sandwich sounds quite nice right now. Alright, uh, Corrin's Tower is somewhere around here. Corrin's Tower is interesting because you have to you have to fly midway to get to it. Okay. Well then, I will meet you here in the next episode. This is me, Thrasho2, saying be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.